BQ's back, baby. And biggest week in American birding? We are here. Hit, Hit the, the music. music! This is Birding with BQ. Ah! Living hard to bird hard. All the time. We are live at the biggest week in American birding in Northwestern Ohio, the warbler capital of the world for what is the biggest birding festival, truly, in all the United States. The festival occurs for over a week in the peak of spring migration where you're bound to see a huge quantity of warblers and all sorts of other stuff. And if there's one thing I know, good birds definitely bring the crowds. And the boys of Sweet Chin Music are here at the Biggest Week in American Birding because we are here for good birds, great birds, any birds that we can see. Hey, fellas, who's having fun? Yeah! Great birds like Scarlet Tanager. And this one you can see is transitioning from its winter into spring plumage still. Eastern Screech Owl roosting. So Northwestern Ohio has garnered the nickname the Warbler Capital of the World because the warblers are super concentrated here and at places like the historic McGee Marsh Boardwalk, they are right off the boardwalk. Black-throated blue warbler, a simply handsome male. In fact, the birds at McGee Marsh are so close to the boardwalk, they're too close for digiscoping. And even if I could use my scope to capture the birds here at McGee Marsh, between all the birders that are here, there's honestly not enough room to use it. You know my mother. Yes. <laughs> Nashville Warbler, one of the many amazing warblers that we'll get to see with incredible views, just like this. So for capturing the birds of McGee Marsh, I'll of course be photographing with the big dog, but instead I'll be digiscoping with my phone scope attached to my binoculars and leaning it against the railing, against my arm, against whatever I can. So when I see something cool, like this green heron right above my binoculars, I attach my phone scope case to my binoculars, put my phone in the case, and we have results. A little shaky at times, but sometimes you just gotta be resourceful when you're bringing the birds to the people, am I right? Chad Hutchinson, what do we got? Got ourselves a black and white warbler. Incredible. You just took that? Yes, sir. Wow. wow. Sora. I'm having an existential crisis right now <laughs> as to whether or not I heard a king rail. To be determined. Yes. Wow. American Red Start. Yellow Warbler, straight off the cover of the Kaufman Field Guide. Yeah! Mike Defina, clearly he bought a yacht with a flag saying chilling the most by the way he's posting up on this corner. Fill us in, what's new? Dude, love is what's in. Love for the birds and my brothers and for the people of the earth. Oven bird. Undoubtedly the bird of the day, ruby crowned kinglet. If you haven't seen the Ruby Crown Kinglet here yet in McGee Marsh, you may not have a pulse. They are simply everywhere. You know, if you want to make it rain, you gotta get wet. <laughs> That's why we're here. And it's raining warblers, and we're wet. Palm warbler. Look at that classic tail bobbing. Oh, come on. Look at that. Black-throated green warbler. Can't wait to see what he's getting with those shots there, Mike Definer. I'm a ninja. I'm an autofocus ninja. You like that? That's what I got. Mama mia! Gotta love a McGee Marsh Boardwalk selfie with a bald eagle right there. All right, here at the McGee Marsh Boardwalk with the Kelseys and at its K Gates, and they're here with a very exciting piece of information. Ladies. We found four lifers already in our first hour here at McGee. We are loving life. Feels great, little cool, but so many birds, so little time. 
Thanks, at Birding with BQ. <laughs> See, feeling the love. Eastern Whippoorwill, perched not far off of the boardwalk here at McGee Marsh. A bird I've heard hundreds of times, but I've never once seen before. Unbelievable. So I know it's spring migration, but it certainly doesn't feel like it right now in McGee Marsh. Temperatures are pretty cold. I don't think we broke 50 today. It's been a light rain most of the day. Right now we're all right, but the rain has made the boardwalk very slickery. And it's made the roads very wet. Swamp Sparrow, a bird of, well, swamps. Wood Thrush. We finally arrived back here at the Sweet Chin Music House of 100 on Lake Erie. Chad, how many species of birds do we have today? 108 BQ. 108 species. We saw a lot of exciting things, but we saw one thing in particular that was most exciting of all. Stay fresh and peace out, y'all.